Are you ready to nail party? I will be using my Competitive Edge Custom Original Double Thick Extra Long Nail Forms, my Extra Adhesion Nail Liquid, my Deep Well Ceramic Dappen Dish, my Natural Original Nail Powder, my Beat the Heat Gel Polish, my I'm Not Tacky Top Gel, my White Gel Art Paint, my Bold Striper Art Brush, and my Towelettes. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And I will be using my Crystal Spray Decanter, available in peach, gardenia, vanilla sandalwood, and fragrance-free. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands. The nail has already been prepared and I applied my first coat of primer. I always let the first coat dry. This kills the germs on the nail and dries out the oils in the nail. Now I'm going to apply my nail form. I'm going to split the form and stick together my wings and place the curve underneath the free edge. Stick down the sides and secure my form. This is going to be a long almond and this nail shape can break easily because the sides are filed in. So we are going to get our strength and shape with the C-curve and the arch. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer right before I apply my acrylic. The wet primer and the wet acrylic promote adhesion and prevent lifting. I dab my brush so I don't oversaturate the nail when I prime. This little bottle primes a thousand nails, so you only need a little bit. And I wipe off my brush before I place it back into my bottle. And I always like to use a primer holder so my primer doesn't spill and a towelette so I can wipe off my brush. This is going to be a long nail, so I will be using a lot of liquid. I dip my brush all the way in, wipe off just a little bit of liquid so I have a nice amount of liquid in my brush. Drag towards me my powder, picking up a nice large ball. Place this ball onto the form, let it flow, one, two, three. Bring up the side, pat it out, bring up the side, pat it out, and stroke it out towards the tip. There we go. Start bringing in your sides, getting that nice almond shape. There we go. Backstroke it. This helps give that nice arch to the nail. And once you get your free edge just how you like it, add your second ball, dip your brush in. This is less liquid, so I wipe off my brush more. This is a small ball. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, again, small ball. Place this ball 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, and stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Now I'm going to build the arch. This is a medium ball. Dip your brush in. Wipe off your liquid. Drag in your powder. Place this ball almost at the cuticle area. Release liquid. Let it flow. And stroke it out. Side. Side. Center. That builds up a nice arch in your nail, which helps make it nice and strong. Wipe off your brush. The nail is starting to dry, so I'm going to squeeze the C-curve. It's no longer shiny, so this is the time that I can easily make a nice C-curve shape. Start at the nail bed, applying pressure, work your way out. This makes the nail nice and tapered and strong. The C-curve is one of the most important things you can do to make an almond nice and strong. Also, it helps make a beautiful shape. When you hear the nail click, you know it's dry, and you can remove the form. Just squeeze the form together. Bend it down, there you go. I will be using my disposable 180 grit long-lasting zebra file, and this file has a special zinc oxide coating which makes it really smooth and easy to file. And I will be using my disposable clean finish buffer, which is made out of material and not made out of paper. So when you buff, it doesn't leave any grit on the nail. You can also use it dry, wet, or with oil. And they're so easy to use. You just peel off the back. And stick it on. 
peel off the back and stick it on. You're ready. Before I start filing, I like to score the edge of my file using my buffer. So when I file around the cuticle area, the file is nice and smooth and it doesn't cut the cuticle. I'm going to be filing my nail in five steps and my first step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the left. Place the file underneath the nail, file straight out, and then slightly taper in. Step number two, straight out from the nail groove on the right, holding the finger securely. File straight out, and then slightly taper in. My third step in filing is shaping the tip of the free edge. This is going to be an almond, so I hold the finger securely and I place my file almost all the way flat. Go straight across. And that'll make your almond nice and even. My fourth step in filing is the top of the nail in the cuticle area. File down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. In a horseshoe pattern, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. And there's a little road around the cuticle where you have product, natural nail cuticle. I'm going to place my file in that little road and file the product flush with the natural nail. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side until I get it nice and smooth. Step number five, turn the nail around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip. This is the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks and you want to make sure it looks beautiful from their angle. Now I'm going to buff the nail with my clean finish buffer. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Nice long strokes. Make sure you get it nice and smooth around the cuticle. Always holding the nail and the finger securely. Don't let it wobble. Out towards the tip. Get it nice and smooth. Have the client go wash their hands with peach antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. I'm going to pour just a small amount of Clean It in my glass dappin dish to keep my brush clean. Now I'm going to apply my flawless base. Wipe away from you and then just a little bit towards you so you don't get too much on your brush. Then place 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle, pushing towards the cuticle, and then nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Cure 45 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply my Beat the Heat Gel Polish. Wipe away from you, and just a little bit towards you. Place a 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle, push towards the cuticle, and then nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Oh my gosh, I love this color. This is a perfect summer color. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply my second coat. Wipe away from me, just slightly towards me. Again, 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle, then push towards the cuticle, and then stroke out. That gives you a really nice line, makes it nice and smooth. There we go. Cover the entire nail. I love that color. So pretty. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply I'm Not Tacky, a super high gloss no wipe top gel, especially for nail art. 
wipe away from you, a little bit towards you. Place a 32nd of an inch, push towards the cuticle, nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. All of my gel art paints are super pigmented and they don't move and they dry shiny so they don't need any top coat. This makes them perfect for nail art. You can use your gel art paint on gel and on nail lacquer to make designs. I will be using my towelettes. They are the perfect size and texture to keep your art brushes clean during application. And my bold striper is specially designed for lines, French manicures, and detailing. I like to clean off my brush and clean it before I get started. So I make sure my brush is clean and I get a nice point on my brush. Now I'm going to load my brush halfway and wipe off the tip. Place my brush where I want to start my line. And come up, over, and up. Get some more gel art paint on my brush and I'm going to fill it in. Super easy. This brush is so nice. And this gel art paint is so easy to work with. Nice full coverage. I just want a little bit more of a line. Cap the tip a little bit there. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Always clean your brush when you're done and you clean it. Wipe it off gently. Twirling your brush. Get a little bit more clean it. There we go. Be very gentle with your brush and it will last you for years. And always make sure you never place your brush in front of your lamp or the gel will cure on your brush and it will ruin your brush. The nail is finished and I don't need to apply a top coat as gel art paint dries shiny and no top coat is needed. Now I'm going to apply my conditioning cuticle oil available in peach, gardenia, and vanilla sandalwood. This is so good for the cuticles and the natural nail. It helps eliminate hangnails and helps the nail grow out healthy. And it feels good and it smells delicious. Now you have your Beat the Heat Long Almond Acrylic Nail. And it's so easy to clean up. Just peel off your strips. Disinfect your plastic boards and fold up your disposable towel and throw everything away. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.